I'm almost embarrassed about this story, but when I was recovering from a very serious knee operation, uh, a kind of career-threatening knee operation, when I was sort of in my post-anesthetic haze, I had this really, really strong dream that I was lying on a battlefield, a sort of sandy desert battlefield, and I was over here, and definitely it was my leg, my leg was way over there, and I just had this sense of, it's okay, my body is not my soul. And it kind of stuck with me. There was all this imagery about Iraq, particularly Iraq at that time, about two, 2006, 2007. Um, and it suddenly connected with me about the risks that I take as a dancer or took as a dancer on stage, which is not a particularly dangerous place, although it feels it sometimes. And the dangers that a soldier will put themselves through, where they risk not only their limb, but their life as well. And I thought, well, I've trained since I was three to do this, to withstand the pain and take the discipline. How on earth do you train a soldier to do this? What, what, what on earth, what is that transformation? Um, so after I thought about this for a very long time and it stayed with me, I then realized that I needed to do some of that training myself. I needed to understand it physically. So it took me quite a long time, about uh, nearly two years, and then I finally got an attachment uh, with the 4th Battalion, the Rifles, through... Um, I tried a lot of people, but eventually I found a kind of sympathetic Major General who, who got my point, was that there the are war artists, war photographers, war poets, but, but what they're using is their bodies, so why not a war choreographer? So that's a, as dance films go, that's a pretty good one. And we always warn people that dance is, is a form that just does not translate very well to video, and that could even be that could even look a little goofy. Um, but uh, you can imagine it in the space. You can imagine it being kind of right in your face. It's a really powerful, really moving experience. And all the things that Rosie talked about about the body are in the piece. Um, and you will leave it uh, really moved and a bit rattled. Um, it's worth checking out. We'll, uh, like Circo, we'll be doing multiple performances of that um, so we can keep the audience really intimate and really engaged with, with the artists.